cook with a little Indian, Hersha Patel here on Wild Dish. I've been lucky enough to be invited on today by DJ Barbecue, Christian Stevenson. Hi. We are taking over the channel this summer. We're taking over every Thursday at Wild Dish with barbecue recipes, stuff to do outdoors. So make sure you tune into all of our awesomeness so you can eat said awesomeness. Today we're doing fish tacos with a lovely yes. guacamole, a mango salsa, and a bit of crunch in the form of a quick slaw. I'm okay. really excited because I love fish tacos and I, I want to know your recipe because you are the king. are the best ever. So I want you to slice those really thin, real thin, okay? Because okay. you just want a little slaw, we're going to give it a bit of tang with some cider vinegar. Okay, so the rub <laughs> for this bad boy, really simple. It's a kind of spicy rub. I've got salt, pepper, onion granules, garlic granules, some chili flakes, oregano and cinnamon, kind of North Mexican vibes. You see, you find those spices in a lot of the sauces and stuff used in, you know, like a typical carne asada or a burrito. Those are lurking in there. You can also use paprika. Um, you just want a bit of a heat, but you don't want to overpower because you want to taste all the lovely flavors that are going into the taco. How I've much got cabbage do you want? a guacamole, avocados, red onions, tomatoes, lime juice, coriander. So we okay. got this lovely, refreshing, sweet summer salad, summer salsa. You've got mangoes, cucumbers, coriander, red onions, and I'm gonna finish it all off with more lime juice. All the recipes for the, the sides, the guac, uh, the mango salsa, just check for it in the description box. We've got all the information you Look need. Look below. Look below. Yeah. Okay, so that's ready. How much of this do you want? That's what? good. You've done really yeah. good. That's Is way, it nice and thin? That's, that's way more than, than I needed. Oh, uh, okay. But it's okay. And what I'm really ready. liking is there's loads of flavors going on, but they're all really simple. Yeah. So, that's yeah, it. That's how you're going to impress people. Well, you, you've got your kind of creamy, fatty refreshingness. You've yeah. got clean, fruity freshness. Now you've got your crunch, crunch. but yeah. we're going to put a little tang in the yeah. crunch. So that's kind of giving it a bit of a pickle. Yeah, quick little pickle. So cider yeah. vinegar, really thin, so it's an easy, quick slaw. Now, it's down to the, the main event, our lead singer, the fish. A lot of our classic fish tacos, they use tilapia. You just want a good, firm, white fish. You use haddock, um, cod. You want to get responsibly sourced fish, line-caught fish or farmed fish. All right, so I've got our lovely spicy Mexican rub. Have a little smell of that. Oh, that's lovely. All right. So do you need to leave that to marinate or just no, no, bung it's, it straight it's on? No, no, it's just that it's going to cook right in. Now, I always like to oil my meat and my fish and not the pan. So. Oh, so you're putting it onto a pan? Yep. There we go. The grill we have up here, it's got some big holes and that thing will just fall through. I don't have a fish basket, so I'm just basically using my outdoor space. If you have a yeah. fish basket, use that. Okay. So how long do you cook that for? You know when it's nice and yeah. flaky, you don't want it to dry out, and you don't want it to be uh, raw in the middle, so it's done when it's done. Cool. Uh, that big old fillet of fish, you, I'm thinking six minutes. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, lovely meat. Okay. So it's, it's literally till it's just flaking all... Yeah, as soon as it flakes away, yeah. And, it, and it's not translucent in the middle, yeah. you, your fish is done. You don't want to overdo it. I normally uh, serve these in uh, a white flour tortilla, but we've also got some wholemeal ones, so I'm going to give them a quick flash on the grill. Heat them up. Are you ready to assemble? Yes. All right. So, are you going to go healthy? You're going to go... Uh, they're, they're all healthy. It's just this is a bit more healthy with the wholemeal, you know? Yeah. Okay, you go home meal. I'm gonna go the way I always go. Okay. So you want to start with, well, you can go any way you want. Just pile it all together. Try to get your fish monger to take the bones out of the fillet. That's always nice. And you know what happens with these because they're so small tortillas, you overfill them. I know. I always do that. And then I put a little bit of guacamole there. Just load Mango, it up, man. salsa. We can't go too crazy because oh. you won't be able to wrap the thing. I'm gonna get. No way. I don't want to do that. A little bit of crunch tangy crunch with that quick slaw. Oh, man, where are they? Hold on, I ain't even oh. close to being done. I love squirting fresh <laughs> lime into my tacos, okay? Okay, wait, I'm gonna do this. Don't be afraid to, to go. It just makes them more. Oh, uh, look, look how gorgeous that looks. Fish tacos, 
with mango salsa, guacamole, and red cabbage, tangy slaw. Mmm. 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 One of the best things I've eaten in a very long mm -hmm. time. The great thing about a fish taco, it's healthy. You know, fish is good for you. Essential oils. You've got fresh salad, salsa, guacamole, crunch, all these vegetables in a tortilla. It's perfect. It's quick, it's easy, it's healthy, and the most important thing, it tastes super good. Thank you. That's <laughs> delicious. <laughs> delicious. Seriously, make this. I'm Cook with a Little Indian. I'm DJ Barbecue. Make sure you subscribe to our channels, but more importantly, subscribe to Wild Dish. We're doing a barbecue takeover every Thursday. Loads of incredible dishes and this fish taco really one good. will be so impressive to your family and friends. Delicious, fresh, just Healthy. super duper tasty. See you guys next time.